November 17th, The Eternal Goal By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing, I will bless you. Genesis 2, verses 16 through 17. Abraham at this point has reached where he is in touch with the very nature of God. He now understands the reality of God. My goal is God himself. At any cost, dear Lord, by any road. At any cost, by any road, means submitting to God's way of bringing us to the goal. There is no probability of questioning God when he speaks, if he speaks to his own nature in me, that is. Prompt obedience is the only result. When Jesus says, come, I simply come. When he says, let go, I let go. When he says, trust God in this matter, I trust. This work of obedience is the evidence that the nature of God is in me. God's revelation to himself, to me, is influenced by my character, not by God's character. Tis because I am ordinary, thy ways so often look ordinary to me. It is through the discipline of obedience that I get to the place where Abraham was, and I see who God is. God will never be real to me until I come face to face with him in Jesus Christ. Then I will know and can boldly proclaim, In all the world, my God, there is none but thee. There is none but thee. The promises of God are of no value to us until, through obedience, we come to understand the nature of God. We may read some things in the Bible every day for a year, and they may mean nothing to us. Then, because we have been obedient to God in some small detail, we suddenly see what God means and His nature is instantly opened up to us. All the promises of God in Him are yes, and in Him, amen. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 Our yes must be born of obedience. Then, by obedience, we ratify a promise of God by saying, Amen, or so be it. That promise becomes ours.